What? Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to talk about a very controversial topic, especially amongst us who, uh, who use smartphones. A lot of times we want to compare the top dogs. It is in our nature to compete, it seems, when it comes to this kind of stuff. The Galaxy S4 and the iPhone 5S, as well as some other phones that are being touted as being some of the top phones in iOS and Android land. Uh, there's a lot of other phones out there as well. But the story I want to talk about today has to do with benchmarks. Uh, the latest story over on SlashGear.com talks about how the iPhone 5S has now been confirmed as the fastest phone due to this independent ranking test by which magazine? Hmm. Apparently the iPhone 5S beat out the LG G2 and the Samsung Galaxy X4, S4, I'm sorry, S4, using the phone simulation called Geekbench, and I've heard of Geekbench quite a bit, and the Galaxy S4 is uh, in third place, and they were in top, they were the top dog of June last year, and apparently the iPhone 5S has some some beefy stuff, and all phones tested were multi-core, were running some two-core, uh, some running on four, the 5S runs on just two cores, but the core count doesn't necessarily equate to faster performance, according to this article. Uh, they also say that the key to the 5S spi 5S's speed is the A7 chip, the first 64-bit processor. So we, we were kind of skeptical about the 64-bit processor when it came out. Uh, I'm not sure how exactly it relates to the Geek Bench benchmark program and how that affects results or if it affects results at all. But uh, yeah, the Galaxy S4 took third place, HTC One, iPhone 5C, and Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini and HTC One Mini taking fourth place through seventh place respectively. So I have the HTC One, so I'm in fourth place. <laughs> um, but the iPhone 5S is apparently top dog according to benchmarks. Now, I know the argument. Benchmarks don't tell the story of real world usage a lot of people claim. And I, I kind of agree with that. You know, it's all about the look and feel, the the, uh, the OS, the just how everything works together. Um, the applications, of course, as well as the ecosystem, a lot of things come into play to dictate whether you need a phone, but you know, a lot of you guys who I'm not saying you guys watching my show, but a lot of Android enthusiasts used that benchmark that the Android was top dog. I mean, the, uh, Samsung galaxy four was top dog last year as being the nail in the coffin of the iPhone. So. Let's just take a step back and just realize that sometimes benchmarks don't actually dictate, you know, what the best phone is. Now, I congratulate Apple on having a fast phone, but I, I, I would like an iPhone 5S, but, you know, I'm sure the Samsung Galaxy S4 is just as good for a lot of you guys out there. But this is some telling news. I, I didn't expect iPhone 5S to be this fast. I knew it got a speed improvement. I knew it got a 64-bit architecture installed. But uh, yeah, which magazine says the iPhone 5S is ranked number one? So how you guys feel about that? Let me know in the let me know in the comments. I'm sure you guys will anyway. So take care, guys. This has been Buona from Buona.tv. The Samsung Galaxy S4 has been dethroned as the well the Galaxy series has been dethroned. The three phone dethroned. That's actually a good word. Dethroned. It has been dethroned as top dog by the iPhone 5S and the Geek Bench benchmark. Take care, guys. Have a great day.